Leading our parade is entry 967. She's OF Acad Academy Layla, exhibited by Julia M. Owens of Frederick, Wisconsin. 968 is Arethusa On Time Vogue, exhibited by Pleasant Nook Farms of Whiskey River, Air, Ontario. The third entry is 969, Celine Tequila Sunrise, exhibited by Austin Nauman and John Celine and Tyler Schaefer of Norwalk, Wisconsin. Lisa Demmer is the exhibitor of our fourth entry, and she's from Ellendale, Minnesota. She's got entry 972, Discovery's Comerica Jazzinator. 973 is Arethusa Action Varsity, exhibited by Greg Lambert of Lamira, Wisconsin. 974 is Graybill Action Jewel, exhibited by Donald Graybill of Freeport, Illinois. 975 is exhibited by Ma Linehan of River Falls, Wisconsin, and she's Big Time Shiny Jade. 976 is JVF Successful Cinderella, exhibited by Rachel Foster of Jubilee, Wisconsin. 977 is Graybill Action Misty, She's shown by Donald Graybill of Freeport, Illinois. Snafu Ulbrich T-Bone Diamond is entry 978, and she's exhibited by Isaac Neville and Brian and Mark Ulbrich of Harburg, Illinois. 979 is TJ Classic Minister Venus, exhibited by Joel and Greg Bourne and Brandon Fairney of Ansonia, Ohio. Michaela Lutrup has our next entry. She's entering a 980, Bohica Giller Armani. 981 is Ratliff Remake Morgan. She's shown by Budge on Farms and Peter and Lynn Vale of Lamira, Wisconsin. 982 is exhibited by Avonlea Genetics and Sybil Fisher of Brighton, Ontario. She's Avonlea CF Baby Breeze. 983 is Ratliff Sambo Dream. She's shown by Ron and Christy Ratliff of Garnet, Kansas. Our next entry is 984, Ratliff Action Diva, exhibited by Derek Leon Page of Mount Vernon, Missouri. 985 is Ratliff Minister Crystal. She's shown by Sawyer and Olivia Brandenburg of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. 986 is exhibited by Derek Leon Page, and she's Show Me Giller Trina. Our next entry is 987, Woodmore Marlow Rosemary, shown by Woodmore Jerseys of Bloomer, Wisconsin. Bride and Jane Eliza, entry 990, is exhibited by Top View, Botkins, Ohio. Julia M. Owens has her following entry. She's from Frederick, Wisconsin. She has entry 991, OF Ayatollah Ruth. The following entry is 992, Avonlea Cookies M. Keepsake, exhibited by Avonlea Genetics of Brighton, Ontario. And our final animal parading into the ring is shown by Roger Reby of Cumberland, Wisconsin, and she's entry 994, Meadow Ridge King Kira. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these animals a round of applause. These exhibitors saw what they had going when they were calves, and they brought them all the way to this level. Ladies and gentlemen, placings are complete in our Jersey 2013 World Dairy Expo International Futurity. Third place honors go to TJ Classic Minister Venus ET, exhibited by Joel Bourne and Brandon Ferry of Ansonia, Ohio. She also takes home our best bread and owned in the class. Second place honors go to entry 973, Arethusa Action Varsity, exhibited by Greg Lambert of Lamira, Wisconsin. And our winning entry, entry 968, is also your best daughter. She's Arethusa On Time Vogue, exhibited by Pleasant Nook Farms and Whiskey River of Air, Ontario, Canada. Congratulations, exhibitors. And now, to Judge McKimbin for his comments. Ladies and gentlemen, this futurity class, certainly a really nice class, and we got a, a great cow to win the class. A cow you just, the mammary system is so strong on that cow. The, the teeth placement, the venation, the attachments of that udder. She's a very modern cow. She's very long of her frame, very feminine, very angular. And today she uses the length of her neck and the length of her frame, uh, just a little more overall 
height up to the front end today over this well-balanced cow we have in second. It gets a little tighter for me, second and third, and uh, it's a close placing. They're two different kinds of cows. I feel the second cow follows the first cow. She's just got that balance. She's got the squareness of her udder. A cow walks out beautiful on her feet and leg, and she's just a little more comfortable when she places on her feet and legs today. Um, she's just a little more desirable the way the rear teats hang on the quarters, a little nicer how the front teats hang on the quarters, a little more strength of loin and a little more balance. The third cow, I do give advantage over the second cow. She's longer of her frame. She's longer of her neck today than the second cow. Three tremendous cows. The third cow over the fourth cow, she uses that length of frame. Fullness of crops today. Snugness of udder to carry over the beautiful dairy cow we have in fourth. It's a dairiness and the quality and the the, the dairiness through her hide today to carries the cow in fourth over the cow in fifth. Bloom and height the rear udder attachment as well. The cow in fifth will be milking a year, but a cow you really love, the frame, the balance, the squareness of her udder. She uses the advantage she has on a little more overall mass of cows. She's a little more height of chine in front end today. Uh, just that little more overall um, depth and through the four rib, a little more strength of chest today than the beautiful dairy cow we have coming out in sixth. Really nice class of cows all the way down through. Thank you.